What's up, you guys? Welcome to our channel. Today, we will discuss why we think Vixen should have her own full animated series or a full live action series so she can possibly join the Arrowverse. Currently, Vixen does have a season that's animated on CW Seed. However, um, her seasons, and she actually has two seasons right now, her seasons only last about, probably you can watch them under an hour. It's about six, five minutes or so each episode. So it's very short on CW Seed. And I think um, it would be wonderful if she can be either part of the Arrowverse instead of just coming on an episode here or there on Flash or Arrow. If she can have a full animated series to be a part of their crossover or if she could have a full animated series. Um, well, we'll see them on there as well. Reason being is I feel like she is a very powerful superhero um, for females as well. She, I think people don't understand how powerful she is as far as her connection with the animals. And I mean, she can take on their power. So however strong they are and, and all that, that's Vixen. That's basically what her superhero powers encompasses. So she's on the level of a Wonder Woman or a Storm, if you think about that. Um, and I just don't think that females are fully aware of her as a superhero. And I think for, for women, she would be very good to have out there. Um, or like Supergirl, you know, strong heroine. And that's what I look forward to when I see Vixen. I think she should be um, something that someone that people know more about. I agree with you. I don't really have anything to say in addition to that. Um, playing devil's advocate, I think that um, I myself was weary to to see her on Arrow when she came last season, just because I wasn't sure how they were going to do her powers. But once I saw her powers, I was like, okay, this actually does relate good to TV. Um, I thought personally in the whole, the talisman, her totem, um, and then now seeing her on Legends, I think they do a very good job, um, of her character. Mm -hmm. I would say that, again, playing devil's advocate, that it's probably not going to be a show for everybody just because she is more of a street level hero. Yeah. We know that she was in the JLU, but... For the purposes of TV, they'll probably keep her very straight street level, so we won't probably get to see a lot of people okay. in her world. So okay. that may be something that may turn people off. But ultimately, for me, I would love to see her. I would love to see another female superhero um, join the Arrowverse. Um, and I think she would be a great addition. She already has ties to enough people that it will work out. Um, and low-key, in the comic book, she actually dated um green lantern for a while yes um so you know a lot of people are crying to see green lantern on tv or in the movie so we might be able to to get him actually on tv in some capacity if she were to have her own show so i'm definitely for this as well um i love everything that they've done with her on the cwc i love both portrayals that i've seen of her on tv um so yeah i'm off i'm all for it and also, I do want to make you guys aware, um, we're going to start a Get to Know Me series that will be a little bit more in-depth on certain superhero characters that you may not be familiar with. And hopefully you guys will like and subscribe, like this video, subscribe to our channel, so that way you can keep current and aware of those videos when we release them. And we look forward to seeing you in the next video. So until next time, you guys, stay geeky.